Hey, opposing good evening, everybody. This is Sports on News. I'm Joe Burke, and this is going to be a recap of our Reading Royals, the Royal take on them sweeping the Wooster Railers out of Reading as they win 6-3 to three and then score three goals in this game to win 3-2 to two on a beautiful breakaway goal by Trevor Gooch. That was a great outlet pass by Garrett Cockrell. There was also a fantastic play that Hosinger got it to Pritchard, Pritchard got it to Ebbing. That was a beautiful goal for the game-winning goal. Obviously, those two guys are stars of the game as Gooch continues his great success. But another guy that's clearly a star of this game that I don't think did get a star of the game in the actual game, uh, Frank the Tank Tachara, who had, I, I, it was either five or six blocks, a ridiculous amount of blocks, and started off the scoring on that beautiful laser off of the face-off. Uh, he obviously deserves a star of the game. And a guy that deserves a very honorable mention is Will McKinnon. He took down the captain Smotherman of the other team, has no fear already as a former captain at his college to just go right up against everybody, and that is obviously fantastic. And then uh, we also obviously just had the great jam in the play. This felt like a great playoff-style atmosphere in this game as well. There wasn't just great play defensively and just solid offense starting at obviously the onset of the game and then not much after that other than that lucky goal really that they ended up getting where they tried to center it in front. It bounced straight to Newkirk and Newkirk if he didn't tap that in that would have been a problem. Had a great easy tap in after he had a fight earlier in the game and I love seeing Jackson Cressy get into a scrap as one. I love seeing Pritch draw Kai into a penalty. So the Royals played very disciplined in this game where it seemed like the Railers strategy was to try to get the Royals undisciplined where they only fought when they saw fit and when they did they took advantage of it and did and were able to get the crowd pumped up with the fights um as well when it was Will McKinnon or Jackson Cressy or even Jacob Pritchard drawing the penalty so I think the Royals played this game beyond smart and I think this was a great game by the Royals a great defensive game I mean the only bad play was uh when Gooch I believe it was turned it over at the beginning and that, of course, led to the first goal uh, for the Railroad. Because the other play, you can't really do much about it. Now, now should Newkirk have been as open on that side? No, but they were defending the shot. And he went for the shot, and then it hit off of a shin pad, and then went to Newkirk. So you, there's not really much you can do about that. Gooch, beautiful outlet pass for that goal from Cockrell. Beautiful passing on the goal for Ebbing. That Hossinger got it to Pritchard, and then he was able to give it to Ebbing, and he scores. And then, obviously, as well, on the Frank Tachara goal, beautiful face-off one. I don't know if that was a design play, but it definitely was a beautiful play as they won the face-off from Cressy to Tachara. Tachara was able to fire home and score. And Trevor Gooch continues his great success. He's the star of the series, obviously. The number one star. Four goals in two games. Obviously, you're the star of the series. And then Hayden Hawkey played well again. Yesterday, I think he played good as well on those three goals. There's not really much you can do. When guys are open in front of the net and one is a breakaway on the freaking penalty kill or on the power play, excuse me, which is something you don't want to allow. So this week, absolutely great play by the Royals to start a tough, tough stretch during this homestand. As they started off against the Wooster Rail as a very solid playoff team in our division. Now they're going to play a team in the Norfolk Admirals who might not be in the postseason, but they are a team that does play really scrappy and obviously is going to try to get under your skin as well. And this game, how the Royals really managed that perfectly against a team like the Railers that was trying to use that strategy, I think they're set up also. They played New Norfolk well this year, but I think they're set up really well to play them at this stage of the season as well, going off of how well they played the Wooster Railers when the Wooster Railers today definitely tried to draw them off their game via physicality, and the Royals said that ain't happening. And even after the early goal, they immediately continued to score. The only off thing in this game after allowing that early goal was the two penalties they took early in the third period, which you obviously don't want to do to allow a team to get back in it. But it didn't hurt them, so let bygones be, got, be bygones. And then coming into this weekend, I think they're set up perfectly going against Norfolk after being able to play a game to this elk against a team like Wooster that clearly tried to draw them out of their game and also out of their discipline, and they did not have that effect on the Royals as the Royals really stayed in tune and in the zone and played a fantastic hockey game. So this has been the Royal Take, the latest edition of the Royal Take, reacting to the sweeping the Wooster Railers and Jordan Smotherin as well as tackling them onto the ice out of Reading. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please just subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep the channel growing to 215 or more. Our end of March goal.
Thanks, everybody, for your love and support this far. I really appreciate it, and go Royals.